Did President Biden just become a pro-Bitcoin candidate by accident? Hear me out. Now, we all know how important self-custody is, right? This is one of the reasons why Satoshi had made Bitcoin. It's because he realized that there's really no place in the world that is very safe to hold one's money other than themselves holding that money because nobody cares about somebody's wealth other than themselves, okay? Now, let's go over to what Biden just did. He said, this is uh, President Biden just vetoes a bill uh, that would allow banks to custody Bitcoin for the customers. Now, this bill is SAB 121. Um, So, okay, why is that such a bad thing? Um, The reason why I think this happened is because governments realize that they cannot prevent anybody from self-custody, right? They cannot. But guess what they can prevent? They can prevent centralized entities from holding Bitcoin on your behalf. Um, Okay, so this is from, there's some disagreements here. We have Ryan C. Adams on Twitter. He says, Biden just vetoed the only pro-crypto bill to ever come across his desk. This was a layup. SAB 121 is an anti-crypto rule put in place by Gensler's SEC to stop banks from holding crypto. (laughs) Okay, so it encourages people to not be lazy and go ahead and hold Bitcoin. If If you're only caring about this bill because you're, you're in hope that the ETFs are, are the only thing that's going to explode the price of Bitcoin up to the stratosphere, you got this space completely wrong. You need to go back to the white paper and understand why Bitcoin was created. Secondly, this is from Aaron Day on Twitter. This bill is not pro-crypto. It's pro-bank. The prime sponsor of the bill is one of the most heavily funded by the banks. Um, he says that people, crypto people don't understand politics. Um, it, Biden vetoed uh, it for the wrong reasons. But make no mistake, this isn't a pro-crypto bill. It's one step closer to banning self-custody. But I actually disagree with the last part of that, banning self-custody. It's not going to happen. They, the government cannot enforce that. So it's good news for anybody that knows how to self-custody. And if you don't know how, let this be a daily reminder to go out and learn how to self-custody, okay? If you want to learn how we do it, we're at learningcrypto.com. We've been doing this for a very, 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 very long time. And if you want to also check out our Discord group, there's many people that can help you as well on there. The link is down below on, on the video description. Um, this is from Walker, all right, on Twitter. He says, Pre- President Biden encourages plebs <laughs> to custody their own Bitcoin. Says, don't trust those friggin' banks, bro. So, yes, he, I agree with Walker right here. I think, I, I don't know exactly what, President Biden was thinking, or his masters were thinking. So this is really interesting. I, w- I would love to hear what your thoughts are below. But if you do want to check out what we are doing with our crypto, why we are selling, why we are buying, what we are buying, uh, definitely check it out. Check us out at learningcrypto.com, home of the CT Club. If you want to see me on Twitter, it can be very entertaining, Sir Crypto Tips. Anyways, that's all I have. Please like and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye bye.